What's stopping you from becoming the next big influencer? Perhaps it's a hint of timidity or a dash of videophobia. Well, you're not alone. Many of us struggle with self-confidence, especially when it comes to the daunting world of social media influencing. But don't fret. We're about to dive into the top 10 tips to help you overcome these common hurdles. So stay tuned as we share the secrets to help you conquer your fears and shine in the digital world. Firstly, it's crucial to identify and rate your fears. This is where an exposure hierarchy comes into play. In essence, an exposure hierarchy is a list of situations that trigger your fear or anxiety, ranked from least to most intimidating. It's like creating a ladder to your fears, where each rung represents a scenario that causes you discomfort. To build your exposure hierarchy, start by jotting down various social situations that make your heart race. Then give each situation a rating from zero, representing no anxiety at all, to 10, signifying a full-blown panic attack. This exercise not only helps you understand your fears better, but also sets the stage for you to gradually face them. Remember, the idea here is not to overwhelm yourself, but to progressively confront your fears one step at a time. With a clear understanding of your fears, you can start facing them one by one. Next, consider shifting your focus away from yourself. It can be all too easy to become overly concerned with how others perceive us, especially in the world of social media. But let's take a moment to rethink this approach. Instead of worrying about your image, hone in on making genuine connections with your audience. Engage them with your authenticity, your passion, your unique perspective. The spotlight should be on the relationship you're building with your followers, not just on you. Being present in the moment is another key aspect to consider. It's essential to live and communicate in the now, not in the past or future. By doing this, you're not only showing your audience that you're genuine, but you're also demonstrating that you value their time and engagement. So instead of focusing on self-perception, turn your attention towards creating authentic connections and living in the present. Remember, social media is about connecting with others, not just about showcasing yourself. Try to practice. Start by filming yourself at home, in your living room, your kitchen, etc. Then find an open air space with little or no traffic where you can put your camera and film yourself. If you find this step easy, gradually increase the level of difficulty. In other words, film yourself at the gym, in a shopping mall or some other crowded place. Finally, ask a friend, family member or a paid cameraman to come along and film you to see if this will help you focus less on the camera and the anxiety it can create. Now, let's delve into the power of controlled breathing. It's no secret that anxiety often manifests physically, resulting in symptoms like an escalated heart rate or a dizzying sensation. These can be quite unnerving, triggering a cycle of further anxiety. But here's the good news. You can break this cycle. You can manage these symptoms using a simple yet powerful tool, your breath. Imagine your breath as a soothing wave, washing over your body and calming your anxious mind. Controlled breathing involves taking slow, deep breaths, allowing your lungs to fill completely before gently releasing the air. Picture the tension leaving your body with each exhale, your heart rate gradually slowing down, your mind becoming clearer. This technique can be your anchor, grounding you when anxiety tries to sweep you away. So, the next time you feel that familiar rush of anxiety, remember to breathe. With controlled breathing, you can regain control over your body and your fears. Confidence is a skill, and like any skill, it can be learned. Yes, you heard that right. Confidence isn't necessarily something you're born with, but rather, something that can be cultivated over time. Now you might be wondering, how do you learn to be confident? Well, the answer lies in action. By acting confidently, you encourage a positive feedback loop. Let's say you step into a room, shoulders back, head held high. People notice your assured demeanor, they react positively, and that in turn reinforces your self-assuredness. It's a cycle that begins with you taking the first step. Acting confidently doesn't mean pretending to be someone you're not. It's about presenting the best version of yourself to the world. Start small, maybe by speaking up more during meetings or trying out a new look that makes you feel powerful. And remember, confidence isn't something you either have or you don't. It's something you build bit by bit, day by day. Remember, confidence is the key to success in social media influencing. Engaging in social situations can be a huge step forward. 
It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone and immersing yourself in the vibrant world of social interaction. Yes, it can be daunting, especially when you're not sure how to navigate the waves of conversation and connection. But guess what? There is a way to master these waters. Social skills training classes are a fantastic resource to tap into. These classes provide a safe and supportive environment where you can practice interactions, learn how to handle various scenarios, and even manage unfamiliar or stressful situations. They offer a space where you can stumble, make mistakes, then learn and grow from them without the fear of judgment. As you learn and grow, you'll find that these social situations become less intimidating. In fact, they can become quite enjoyable. So don't shy away from socializing, embrace it as an opportunity to grow. After all, the world is a stage and you're the star of your own show. Above all, don't forget to be kind to yourself. We all have those days when things don't go as planned, when the camera doesn't seem to be our friend, when every word we utter sounds less than perfect. But remember, it's perfectly okay to have setbacks. In fact, they're part of the journey to becoming the influencer you aspire to be. Instead of being hard on yourself, take these moments as opportunities for growth. Embrace the feeling of discomfort that comes with setbacks, because that's where learning happens. Manage your anxiety by focusing on the present, on the here and now. Take a deep breath and remind yourself of the techniques you've learned to cope with anxiety. Practice self-care, both mentally and physically. Keep a positive mindset and remember to celebrate your small victories. Every step forward, no matter how small, is progress. Nobody's perfect, and that's okay. What matters is your perseverance and resilience. So, are you ready to conquer your fears and become the next big influencer? We've unveiled some powerful strategies today. Let's take a moment to revisit the highlights. First, we looked at creating an exposure hierarchy. This process allows you to gradually face your fears, starting with situations that provoke mild anxiety and working your way up. Next, we discussed shifting your focus from yourself to making genuine connections. This shift can ease your self-consciousness and help you be more present in the moment. We also emphasize the importance of adopting a healthier lifestyle. Remember, your physical health directly impacts your mental state. Prioritizing exercise, limiting caffeine and alcohol, staying hydrated and getting quality sleep can all contribute to reducing anxiety and boosting self-confidence. Then we explored the benefits of controlled breathing. This technique can mitigate physical symptoms of anxiety allowing you to regain control over your body. We underscored the power of acting confidently. Just as with any skill, confidence can be learned and reinforced through positive feedback. We encouraged engagement in social situations. Regular interaction, especially with the help of social skills training classes, can make unfamiliar or stressful situations more manageable. We reminded you to be kind to yourself, acknowledging that it's natural to experience setbacks and feel anxious occasionally. Lastly, we advised you to talk about your feelings more frequently and seek professional help if necessary. Remember, your journey to becoming a successful influencer starts here. Overcoming timidity and video phobia is a crucial step in this journey. Don't forget to comment your thoughts, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with someone who might find it helpful. Remember, your journey to becoming a successful influencer starts here.